All right. So I'm going to do this restorative yoga practice today in the dress. I'm on a lavender farm and just really am enjoying wearing this dress. But I have some yoga shorts on, just in case. <laughs> oh, so let's go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Mm. Close the eyes. Mm. Just begin to take some nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Ah. Do that a couple of times and roll the shoulders up and back. And down. Just notice how you feel after a couple of nice deep breaths. Sometimes something just that simple can really help us to tap into these beautiful biological machines that we get to live in. That we can change the way we feel through movement, breath, body work, herbs and teas, and even intention. Feeling into yourself exactly as you are right here, right now. Recognizing anything that's coming up for you today. Also recognizing any tools that you have used today. Meditation, caffeine, or the tea, food. And just be grateful that in this world, for whatever it is that comes us up for us to learn from, we have an equal opportunity to learn the tools to assist us on these journeys. Now is a beautiful time to set an intention, a positive word or phrase. You can think on repeat or even say out loud throughout the class, throughout the weekend, into next week. What is your intention? Once you set your intention, slowly bring the palms to press together at heart center. Begin with two cleansing breaths and one own to cleanse and set space, place, and time. In through the mouth. And out through the mouth. This time is sound. Ah. This time. With the eyes closed, gently begin to rub the hands together, create a little bit of heat and friction with the hands, and place the hands over the eyes, allow the heat of the hands to soften the face and gently smile. And gently peel the palms away, slide the eyes open, and put the hands down. Let's start in the tabletop position today. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Moving through a few rounds of first cow pose, lift the tailbone with the knees. And then cat, round it up. Let's just do a couple more, just make that big and Mm. 
и все мы. Come on back to center. We're going to take a twist here. So inhale, left arm reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, thread the left hand underneath the right. So left shoulder and left ear come to the air. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward to square the hips. And tip to the right hand forward. Press the right armpit towards the left elbow. Breathe. <sighs> Six count, inhale, six count, exhale. Let's try and exhale with no sound today. That open mouth exhale without sound is a great way to calm the central nervous system, just like we were talking about before class. Let's do three more. Last one, big inhale. And next one. Slowly tiptoe the right hand back in front of the face, press down on an inhale, left arm lifts. And exhale, bring it back down. Second side, inhale, right arm reaches. Exhale, thread the needle, right shoulder and right ear to the earth. Draw the hips back to square. Lift to the left hand forward. And tuck the left armpit towards the right elbow and breathe. Hmm. And that good open mouth, silent exhale. And to the left hand back of the On and inhale, right arm reaches. And exhale, lower back down. Drop the hips to the heels, walk the hands forward for child's pose. Release the forehead to the earth. Really feel the hips get heavy and lengthen out through the crown of the head. You can widen through the shoulders here. Those same deep breaths, six second inhale, six second exhale, allowing the breath to just fall out of the mouth. No sound on the exhale. Let's do three more here. Last one, big in here. Lift the head, press into the hands, and walk the hands over towards the right. Let me see if I can get you guys a better view here. Interlace the left fingers on top of the right, and then use the right arm to draw the left arm across the body. Sink the left hip, armpit, and forehead. So this is a side bend child pose. Coming back to the six second breath. Four more. Mm 
last one full and silent, slow and complete exhale. Slowly lift the head, release the hands, walk the hands back through center and over to the left. Right hand interlaces on the top of the left. Use the left arm to draw the arm across, melt the right hip, armpit, forehead. Breathe in your side bodies. Six seconds on the inhale, six seconds slow and silent. Exhale, four more. Yeah. Lift the head, release the hands, come back through center. Inhale up through tabletop and exhale, find your way onto your belly. Shoulders over the elbows, arms come straight out from the shoulders. Press down into the feet, press down into the pelvis. There's even a little squeeze through the glutes as you lengthen up, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the heart. This is Sphinx pose. I like to think of the qualities of the Sphinx being indestructible and timeless. Any other? qualities of the Sphinx that come to mind for you as we breathe here. Three more deep breaths. Slowly lower down, bring the elbows wide and stack one hand on top of the other here and just release the forehead to the knee. Some of you have maybe heard me say, this is one of my favorite poses in the sort of yoga. Makrasana pose, crocodile pose is all about waiting for the right moment. Waiting for the right moment to strike and even after crocodiles get their prey, they let it marinate underwater for a little while, waiting for the right moment to eat. So just tuning in to that energy, waiting for the right moment here in the Prasana pose. We'll be here for five deep, six second inhale and exhale, silent exhale breath. Three more deep breaths here. Wow. Slowly lifting the head, bring the hands back under the shoulders. Inhale, press up and back. And let's swing the legs around. Feet out in front of you. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale, gentle forward fold. Do this a couple more times. Big inhale. Last one. Exhale, hold and hold. 
You can do flex the feet or make circles, whatever feels good to you here. Two more deep breaths. Last one, breathe in. And slowly come on up. Bring the legs nice and wide. You can kind of lift your buttocks up and out of the way in order to tip the pelvis forward. So either flex or point the feet, we'll let that be Yogi's choice. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, slowly come forward. Finding your wide-legged forward fold. Now remember, this is not about how far you can come forward. It's about keeping the spine straight. And then you can sway a little bit side to side if that feels good to you. If you do start to come a little bit forward, just remember it's inch by inch, millimeter by millimeter. Three more deep breaths here. And then you're ready, slowly come on up. Hug the left foot in, keeping the right foot where it is, and turn your shoulders so that they become perpendicular to the right leg. There's a little pressure down into the left knee that helps you turn your shoulders to the right. Inhale, reaching up and exhale, reach it down. Grab a hold of that right foot, or maybe just come up on the finger tense, elbows wide, squeeze the shoulder blade, find length through the spine here. Two more deep breaths. And slowly come on up. Left leg returns. Whether you are pointing or flexing your feet before, just pick the other one. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, gently fold. Keeping the spine long and that gentle sway, if that feels good to you. Thank you. Two. And so we come on up. Bring the right foot in. Same thing, second side. So gentle pressure into the right knee to bring the shoulders perpendicular to that left leg. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, reaching down. You can grab for that left foot. Or you can keep the fingers wide. Now, I notice myself in this video, I'm rounding forward just a little bit. So maybe if you can see yourself, press into the fingers and scoop the heart through to get the spine long. Maybe you won't come as far forward, but that's okay. You can the integrity of the spine there. Three, three. Last one, big one. Mm. And slowly come on up. Left foot comes to meet the right. So Baddha Konasana. Soles the feet together. Allow the feet to open up like a book. Grab a hold of the ankles. Scoop the heart through. Big inhale. And on an exhale, draw the heart towards the feet. Same concept. So. Avoid rounding and just get really long. If you have one side that comes up a little higher than the other, when you widen the shoulders to press down, you can give just a little bit more pressure on that side. 
Send the tailbone and the crown of the head in opposite directions to lengthen that spine and breathe. Continuing with those six second inhales and exhales, no sound and exhale. Totally different than my loud open mouth exhales we usually do. Just see how it feels. Let's see four more. Last one, baby. Yes. And slowly start to come on up. Bring the right knee in, left foot comes underneath, and then the right foot goes over the left. Sitting up nice and tall, root down into the right sits bone. Adjust if you need to. And when you're ready, left arm wraps around right knee, sit up nice and tall. You can find your twist here, bring the chin and the eyes as far to the right as you can. And maybe start to rock a little bit forward and back. Two more deep breaths. And when you're ready, slowly unwind, switch. So the right foot goes under left, left leg goes up and over. Make any adjustments as you need in order to get that left sit bone down on the ground. And wrap the right arm around the left leg. Bring your chin in your eyes as far left as you can. Maybe a little rock and roll here. Sticking with those six second breaths. One more deep and slowly unwind. So this time, left foot's going to come in front, right foot in the back. So my right sit bone will be a little bit lifted off the earth. And we're looking for 90 degrees in the left leg, 90 degrees in the right leg, and the right leg even straight out from the right hip or slightly back. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, walk the hands to either side of that left leg. So there's a little bit of a diagonal that's happening here. Heart towards the foot, and the length. And then exhale, this time you can let yourself round. If your forearms come to the earth, great. If not, don't worry about it. You can still come with this hand and just work on bending the elbows a little bit. Three more deep breaths. Last one, just one. Mm -hmm. And slowly come on up. So, second side, you shift around, opposite foot in front, 90 degrees at the knee and the foot. That left leg can be either straight out or slightly back. Inhale, lift. And exhale, walk your hands on either side of that right leg. You play around, notice if one side feels tighter than the other, one side feels looser than the other. And breathe.
and so we start to come on up and swing the legs around and find your way all the way down onto your back. Hold the knees in the chest, allow yourself to rock side to side. Bring the arms to cactus or field goal arms. Take a nice deep breath. And on the exhale, drop the knees to the left. You can use that right hand on the outside of the right leg. To hold it down if you see. You want to place a pillow underneath that right shoulder. You can a little bit to squeeze the right shoulder towards the earth as you gaze towards the right. And allow yourself to surrender here to gravity. Surrender to your breath. Last one for the end. And when you're ready, so we come back up to center. Take the knees into the chest, bring the arms to practice or pull it on, sit nice and soft. And on an exhale, drop the knees to the right. So the knees are going to be resting firmly on the ground. You can use that right hand to pin the left leg. Right. And again, a pillow under the left shoulder or squeeze the left shoulder under the back. Okay, to the left. Mm One more deep breath. And slowly come back up to center. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide. If you have pillows to prop up the leg, please do so. Or soup the bottom of the nasana. Hands can be resting on the belly or palms face up for the hips. Wide of the hips, give yourself some space in the armpit. Or you can even bring the arms up and overhead. Whatever feels most nurturing and comforting for your body now. Allow yourself to surrender here. Taking those slow, deep breaths, six seconds in, six seconds out. Today we're playing around with no sound. On the mind wanders. 
come back to the intention. Five more deep breaths here. Once you completed your five full and deep and deep breath, keep the hands to press the knees together. So heel the feet wide so the heel can come as close to the butt and as wide as you can, really, while keeping the knees together. Take a few deep breaths here. This is the counter pose to see the butt It's not a pose that we just did. Deep breath. Do four more. Last one, big one. Bring the knees up over the feet. The feet are as wide as the mat, so you can feel for the edges of the mat under the feet. And so like on the knees, big inhale here. And exhale, drop the knees to the right. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees to the left. Bring your arms to cactus or field goals, arms for more stability. Maybe you can move back and forth at your own pace. One breath, one movement, just moving it fast. And the next time the knees are over to the right, pause and hold there. Press the right knee down towards the earth, while squeezing the left glute. And if you'd like, you can place the right foot on the outside of the left knee. You can also reach the left arm straight up and back. Breathe into that line from the left knee out to the fingertip on the left hand side. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Release the right foot. So we come back up to center. In the key as well. And on an exhale, drop the knees to the left. Now, if you would like, if you did so on the first side, then place the left foot on the top of the right knee. Press the right knee down, a gentle squeeze of the right glute, and you can reach that right arm straight up and back and breathe. 
from the right knee out to the fingertips. You ready? Release the left foot. Come back up to center. Fully extend the legs down below. Coming into our final shavasana. Again, you can prop. Actually, I'm going to do it today. Bend the mat and come back. So you can always prop your knees up on a rolled-up blanket or towel or bolster on a couch. But in my case, I'm going to prop my feet up on this lawn chair here. And this can just really assist with giving some space into that lower back. This is something my dad, I thought his first yoga class, I'm pretty sure his first yoga class was when he came to take my yoga class, but then I realized he'd been doing yoga all along. He's been trying to back with that and he can do this variation of legs, but the wall plays legs on the chair. And when you're ready, just oh, really surrender here. And really, you can take any pose you'd like for a final relaxation, even if you prefer a belly resting position. Just go ahead and find a place of stillness. With the eyes closed without moving a muscle, slowly bring all of your awareness down into the toes. Relax the toes. Relax the feet. Relax the ankles. Feel a wave of relaxation moving through the body. As your awareness travels, this wave of relaxation flows through the shoulders and palms. Knees. This wave of relaxation through the body soft, inner and outer palms. Relax and the hip flexors are going in. The outer hips and around into the glutes of that extension. From the back side of the body through to the front side of the body. Relax the Abdominals, the pelvic floor, the root. All of the abdominals, the abdominal cavity, the left, all of the internal organs that are housed in. Take a moment to think about them. Let them relax. Relax up in the diaphragm, lungs, the ribs, the intercostal muscles between the ribs. Off in the heart. Think about what it means for you to have a soft heart. Relax through the chest or pectoral muscles into the armpits and down the side bodies to the lower back. Soften and relax the lower back. Middle back. And upper back. Let the shoulder blades melt into the earth. 
left off the top of the shoulder, into the biceps and quadriceps. Relax the elbows, the forearms, the wrists. Relax the back of the palms of the hands and into the tips of all ten fingers. The back back through the fingers and the hands, the wrists, lower arms, upper arms, shoulders. The back down the collarbone and up the top of the neck. And on the sides of the neck and up the back. Of the neck. The legs all the way up the back of the neck to the crown of the head. The back of the skull, the scalp. And then relax the head. And then to the forehead, up the neck. Not to the temples. But Sides of the head, the ears, and into the lower jaw, relax all the way down the lower jaw to the chin, the lips, the tongue. Even relax the teeth and the roof of the mouth. From the roof of the mouth to the final third to the nose and the chin, relax the cross and the roof and the chin. And into the eye area, my forehead, and the circular muscles that run the entrance. Even the eyeballs relax and squeeze. There's a gentle inward and upward rotation of the eye, connecting forth to the neck folds. You become aware of your body and your mind, the spirit and your hands. It's like other tools, or medicines, or food, or practices, or techniques. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm tuning into that view that is beyond body, beyond mind, beyond central nervous system, beyond reaction and responses. That one spirit. So much gratitude for this world that we might be able to do. So we begin with deep in the breath. Um, start to move the wrist and the ankles. Go ahead and side to side. Extend the head. And one day at a time, and bring your feet to the mat, slowly roll into the fetal position. Allow yourself to be comforted and home. When you're ready, with the eyes closed, if you can. Slowly push yourself up to your comfortable seat. And the palms are pressed together in the center so that men can fall. And so in our practice, we took a few breaths and we all need to be out to the mouth. This time is time. Come to your heart, lips, and forehead. Remind us to keep this peace in our hearts and our words. 